I'm a little concerned about Suella Braverman. She's just taken over the Home Office and during National Morning, she has apparently uh, made a, an opening speech and tried to sort of slide in some very aggressive uh, demands. One of these, of course, is based on the idea that she doesn't like home working and she wants everybody back in the office because she likes to see people face to face. I can appreciate that to a certain extent. The working from home seems to have made the home office even more ineffective. But cutting further jobs, as indeed she is an advocate of cutting the, uh, what, 91,000 civil service jobs which are planned to be cut, uh, this isn't going to endear herself to the civil servants. Nor indeed um, is the PCS union, which represents many civil servants, going to be pleased by the fact that um, a top civil servant was sacked uh, within minutes of Liz Trust taking office. It is extraordinary, in the Treasury, by the way, it is extraordinary. You know, we have... A, an independent civil service that will work for whichever power, whichever political party is in power. So sacking civil servants because they, well, for whatever reason, when at the beginning of a new um, set of officials is very strange. It smacks of political interference in the very system that is supposed to be impartial. So I think the government has got off to a bad start with the civil servants. And Suella Braverman's speech seems to have made that worse. And sliding it in uh, as she has is not likely to go down well. Now is a day to slip in bad news. We remember that from the death of Princess Diana. And Suella Braverman seems to be doing the same sort of thing. To her staff, she's recommended that um, to help mental well-being, they should watch, quote, trashy TV like Love Island, Married at First Sight, First Dates, to help mental well-being. Surely these programmes destroy mental well-being. Surely these programmes are responsible for serious misery and indeed have been responsible for suicides. I don't understand. Does she have no um, empathy, no sympathy, no understanding of how dangerous these programmes are? I've written to the new DCMS secretary to try and get a meeting and to try and discuss this but clearly at the top level at the top end of government the dangers of reality tv are simply not understood or not recognized i find that particularly sad and then of course we get to the big issue which is that suella braverman is determined to stop people traveling across the channel in small boats. I don't know how she proposes to do that. That was what Pretty Patel tried to do. That was what the absurd Rwanda program was all about discouraging. What has happened is we've got more people traveling across boats, uh, uh, traveling across the British uh, the channel in small boats. This last month, I think we had 8,000 people travelling with 2, 000, over 2,000 in the last week in 45 boats. If this is any sign that the, this hard line approach um, is working, then I think making it even harder an even harder line approach is going, to is going to triple these boats. What we need to do is get more civil servants to process the applications so that then we will know 
who are the illegal migrants and who are not. An illegal migrant is somebody whose application has been whose application for asylum has been rejected. It's very, very simple.